Hey guys, welcome to the service now word. Hope you are doing great. So today we'll discuss how to create a dynamic link in info message info messages. So many times we got a requirement like where we have to create a dynamic link yeah, and we have to show in info messages, info messages or error messages anywhere. So how we'll do that, that we'll see today. For implementing this, we'll take one use case today and use case is when a user opens the existing incident and if parent incident is available of that incident then there should be message at the top that like this is the child of that particular incident and when user clicks on parent incident number it should be open the uh, that particular incident so what i mean like what we need to do like uh, if a requirement is that like if user open any incident and if that incident any parent will be available of that particular incident it will show the message on the top that this is the child of this particular incident and that incident number which parent incident will show in the info message that will be clickable means when when they click on that particular incident number it will open that parent incident so without any delay let's go to the instance and try to implement it so now we are in our instance and firstly let's open the incident So I'm opening an incident, let's say I'm opening this incident. So if I come here or under related records, we see that like the, their parent incident is empty, right? So let me create, add one parent incident and I'll just update it. So now this incident having the parent incident. So what I meant like whenever user open this incident, I want to show one message on the top that this incident is a child incident of this incident number. Okay. So that, that we have to do. So we have to show on the like when user is opening. So we have to write a on uh, on load client script. So I'll just, I'll just open a duplicate tab here. And here, right click and then click on client script. Then click on new. So now, if you see here, like uh, new client script form got opened, right? And here we have to put the name like show parent incident number table already selected ui type you can select at all we have to select it here on load why on load because we want to execute this logic when user is opening the form when means when form is loading and now we come to our scripting part here what do you need to do firstly we need to get the sys id of the parent incident so I'll just create one variable where parent does inc equal to g underscore form dot get value get value of parent incident. So we know that like if you see here, yeah, if you see here, we know that like parent incident is a reference field. So it will it if we use a get value it will it will give the sys id of this right this incident so I'll just right click on that and just copy the field name so the field name is parent underscore incident I'll just copy it and paste it here yes now second I want the link uh, I, I want the link like because I want uh, whatever the parent incident will show that will come as a link in our info message right so we'll create one more variable that is where URL equal to uh, there I just let me see and I'll just copy the URL of for instance the URL will be this yes or maybe let me see how it looks like when we opening any incident 
So let's say if I open this one, it will comes like this. Okay, yes. So I'll just copy till here. Yes, till here or till yes, till here we can copy it. The rest will see it later. Okay, <clears throat> yes. And after that, we have to just write here incident dot do. Then we have to um, have to write sys id equal to that's it. And there we have to add the parent incident because I want it dynamic, right? And I'll just put this link under double quotes. Yes. Now it looks good. Then after that, what we need to do? So this is the link, but I don't want to show the link. I need to show some. Uh, I need to show the number, right? So we know that like this is the reference field, and we uh, and if we if we can't do the dot work in client side. So we need the value from the server side, right? So if I write the display business rule by using the display business rule, we can get the parent incident number, right? So let me open one more tab here. We click on business rule, then click on new. And here we'll give the name get parent inc number. Just check on advanced and select the display. And come to the advanced part. And here we have to use the scratch pad variable. G underscore scratch pad dot parent underscore number equal to current dot current dot parent underscore incident incident dot number so what does it mean you see that like this business rule written on incident table we have created one scratch pad scratch pad variable that that will use it later in our client script and there uh, there we are storing the parent incident number how if you see here this is a parent incident field which is reference field if we dot walk it so we'll get the number as well so that's why i've written current means current record then go to the parent incident field and then dot walk to the number and that number is just stored in this scratch pad variable parent underscore number so this is simple right let me save it. Now, what we do, now we, we have to come here and we have to create one more variable. So that, that, that will show the, our parent incident number as a clickable, right? So that will show the number, uh, that will show the parent incident number. So I'll just write here, let me give some name like parent underscore inc underscore number number equal to g underscore scratch pad let me copy it from here from our business rule g scratch pad underscore this this g underscore scratch pad dot parent underscore number so i'll just copy and paste it here right now after that, what we need to do, we have to create one more variable. So there we have to link this URL and this uh, this uh, number, this parent 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 incident number. So for that, for linking, because we use we need to use the link method. Why we are using the link method? So link method is returns our the anchor tag value in a string format. So for that, we need to create one more variable that is where and we say parent underscore link equal to 
equal to parent underscore inc underscore number dot link and inside that I'll pass the URL so what will happen it will it will return as a, a clickable link of the parent incident number okay now we'll just put the condition here if parent underscore inc not equal to mpt we have to add the message g underscore form dot add info message and there we have to add the message like this is the child this is the child incident of incident of then you have to here incident of plus parent underscore link so it will give the parent incident number in a clickable format right okay so now we'll just save it and try to validate our logic okay so all good now let me open any incident whose parent is not empty right so i think this incident will take it yes so if you see here for if you see for this incident the parent is not empty means it having some parent 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 incident right so it coming as a in a clickable format so if i click on that it will open the parent incident you got it right and for this incident doesn't have any parent incidents that's why no info message is showing here right so let me explain you once again what is our business logic is that business logic uh, business uh, business requirement so business requirement is that like when a user is opening any form so if the form if that particular is uh, not form for incident okay if parent incident is available it will show one info message like this is the child of that particular parent incident and that parent incident will come in a clickable format okay once they will click uh, once they will click on that uh, incident number it will open that particular incident so for implementing this we have written one client script in client script what we have did firstly we have to take firstly we have get a uh, store the value in one variable of the parent incident so that means that nothing that is the sys id here we have stored second we have uh, so second variable we have created the url there we stored the url and then in the, the last we have concatenated, concatenated with the parent incident parent incident with parent society parent incident society okay third we have because we want to show the like uh, in parent incident number and we know that like there is no uh, there is a parent incident number is not available in the form only this is the reference field is there so if we get the value of reference field it will return the sys id and we are in a client side so we cannot do the sys uh, we, we cannot do the dot walk so that's why we have written the display business rule there we have created the scratch pad variable and there we are storing the parent incident number then what we have did here we have created one more variable and there we are storing the scratch pad variable value third and here we have created one more variable that is parent underscore link and there what we are doing we are just concatenating the anchor tag by using the link function so anchor tag you may ask like anchor tag is not written here so yeah definitely it's not written here but it there is a by default functionality if we have one url a second one if we having the if we having one string so it will it will act as a anchor tag only so maybe we can use the anchor tag but anchor tag we are using for the static if we have the static url here we having we we we, we have we have to use the dynamic one that's why i use the link function and then we are using uh, then we are using a link link function here then third way and here we have to we, we we have given the condition like if parent incident 
if it's not empty then we have to show the message so like that it's showing so if you have any doubt on this like where any line of code like why i've written this you just write in the comment box i'll answer it okay till that time thank you god 